All right, I want to look at one more uh, collision detection algorithm, and this one is based off of hitboxes. And this one is going to be really useful if you want to do uh, collisions with two large objects, and uh, very, this is most useful in doing things like obstacles, or if you want to push objects around the screen, or like if you want to collect gold coins on the ground. <coughs> so uh, we're going to start this episode or this project by creating our class and so this class will be hitbox collision okay oops I misspelled that I'll fix that when I do the code now this time I want to use the code from the distance collision so if you haven't done that video you should go back and look at that and do that because uh, that would be very helpful in this one because we already have uh, the source and target for that. So again, make sure that you do change your class names. Uh, and we need to do it both in the class name and the constructor and in the main method. And I'm also going to do it in my uh, title for the JFrame just to work it out. Compile to make sure everything compiles. Okay, so basically what we're going to do differently here is when we do hitbox collisions, it's actually going to give us an extra piece of information. It's going to tell us how much the things collided by. Uh, so what I need to do is, let me look at what we have here. Okay, very good, very good, very good. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get rid of this if distance uh, drawing that red thing. Okay, and I'm going to change these from drawing ovals to drawing rectangles uh, because we're using the actual hit boxes. Uh, it's a lot more useful to look them as rectangles. So let's compile and test what we have so far. Okay, so I should be able to move one square. Okay, and no collisions are happening yet. Okay, very fine, very fine. <clears throat> so the next thing I want to do is we actually want to test for this collision. And this is actually a lot easier than it sounds. So because we're using the rectangles, we can actually directly ask if they're intersecting. So, uh, and you do that by saying if my source intersects my target and if this is happening uh, then I can address that collision detection now normally we would do something uh, in an update function in this program we're just testing it out in place so we're putting it in the pink component uh, just so we can see what's happening here and what I want to do is um, draw uh, fill in the rectangle for the target to show that it is being collided with. So I'm going to be the target X, target Y, the width, and the height. Okay. So now you see when it collides uh, that box will light up. Now what I want to do now is show you that it actually is going to give us more information and that's the information about how much it's colliding by. And that's in the rectangle class uh, just like this intersect function is and what it's called is the intersection. Uh, so I can get that intersection I'm going to add a feature here. So and I'm going to call it dr for difference in rectangle uh, and so I can get this by saying the source dot intersection with the target okay and then what I'm going to do is set a different color say cyan and I want to draw that rectangle okay so it'll be dr dot x dr dot y dr dot width So 
Now when I go look at the collision, you'll see that it draws where the collision is. And so what we do is we can look at the width and height of that collision and tell how far I've collided by. And what that's going to allow me to do is I can push my source box out by that much in order to make this an obstacle collision. Um, and there's other neat features that we can do with that. So this is basically how this collision is going to work. Now I'm going to actually address how to do the obstacle part of this in a future episode. Uh, but in this one you can imagine uh, we know how to detect this collision. So like you could put objects on the screen and when your character runs over that object you can say hey I've run over the object so I can remove it from the screen and maybe add it to an inventory for the player. So I want you to think about uh, the process involved in this project. I'm going to go through the code real slowly with you uh, so that you can see all of the code in here real quick. Okay, let me widen the screen for you a little bit. There we go. So here's all the code involved with this one. And if you just want to pause it as this goes through, we have all the components here. Okay. Don't need a distance function anymore. That was for the point collision or for the distance collision. Okay. And so I want you to think about how you might use this in your own products. Uh, and I want you to get creative. Keep programming as much as you can. Again, if you if you like this video, please uh, put a like on it, share it with your friends. If you have questions about this or if you'd like to see a video about something else please leave it in the comments below uh, and I appreciate you watching my video use the stuff have fun with it have fun programming and have a great day thank you